Hi guys, I'm with Tiffany and Winston. It's been a while. <laughs> I think the last time we filmed a video was the mukbang outside together. Probably. Yeah. That's the last thing we filmed? Yeah. And we're gonna do the same thing again where we ask Winston <laughs> questions. We were gonna eat at the restaurant and film the questions at the same time, but then it just didn't work out. So yeah, it's supposed to be a moment, yeah. but just so we're gonna out. do it here. We came up with a list of questions to ask Winston because he started nursing school this last January, mm -hmm. and I thought it would be nice to kind of share like his experience and how he went through the whole process. Without further ado, yeah. So first of all, for us, we said, what helped you decide that you wanted to go to nursing school in the first place? Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> this is literally the application process. Okay, for me personally, I like I naturally excel more in like the sciencey field, so mm -hmm. like math, science. So I always thought I would be going into somewhere more techy, mm -hmm. or sciencey. But after working, I've been I volunteered at a nursing home. I worked as well. I did my CNA thing. I just realized I would I enjoy the nursing lifestyle so much more than like if I were to go into like computer sciencey or tech kind of a job. So I think I and I've always liked like working with people in healthcare, mm. especially when I want to go into working with kids. So considering pediatrics, but that geared me towards the nursing field. Mm. And then what was your first, I guess, like nursing experience? Like nursing, nursing experience? Or nursing home? Um, I would um, occasionally visit where my great grandparents were. Mm -hmm. And I, I saw how they run. I'm not going to say anything about that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, but my actual like on like hands on experience was during CNA school, which I did pretty late because, you know, I'm, I'm broke. So when did you do that? I did that in my I actually did it in the beginning of my senior year of college. Like I, okay. I wanted to go into nursing beforehand, mm -hmm. but I didn't. It wasn't able to because I, I worked mm -hmm. on my sophomore junior years, and yeah. then I had enough money to pay for it. Mm -hmm. um, and I worked. I was in some. I volunteered at some. Well, no, I didn't volunteer. They placed me in some nursing home just so I can practice. Mm. I know there are like different routes you can take to go to nursing school. Mm -hmm. Why did you wait until after you graduated college to decide? Oh, okay. Good question. Um, so yes, so if you go, if you don't know, you can go the traditional four year route, um, or in that case, it's just two years of whatever, like prerequisites and then two years of nursing school. Or what I did, I went for an ABSN route, which is like an accelerated route, uh, where since I did decide pretty late that I wanted to go into nursing and I was, I was like, I finished a bunch of my previous major I was a psych major I finished most of those classes already so I was like I'll just finish up this degree mm -hmm. and then I'll go apply for the ABSN programs so I think it's just more like a think uh, if I finished by the time I finished my degree I'd get a lot more experience or like okay. prerequisites under my belt okay. which did work out the next question is are there any other special exams or anything extra that you have to do besides the applications to get into nursing school that would depend on, e every school is different. My mm -hmm. school in particular only had the uh, personal essays. There were like four of them, but no examination. Wait, did we say which school he goes to? No. No, we didn't. Where do you go, Winston? Oh, 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 <laughs> Blue Devils right here. Um, yeah, I know this is a, a, a Duke University school. <laughs> school nursing, yeah. Um, their ABCM program. There's like some certain schools do want this um, test, I forgot the name of the test, GRE? but you can, you can, you can just input it right here. Is it the GRE? GRE? No, it's test, T E, T's, the T's, the T's, the T E A S. Some nursing schools won't. T E A S. The T's. What does it stand for? I didn't take it. I looked at the prerequisites and I was like, oh, no, okay. I finished that. Okay. Oh, just write some essays. Okay. Okay, so for you particularly, you just had essays, but there are other yeah. schools that every ask school for I applied to did not require the T. Oh, so okay. you only went for schools that didn't require. Yeah, like, require yeah. Exactly. Like I, if like I was like doing by batch, so whichever one was due first, I would complete them, and those happen to not require the T's. And if I were to do another batch with like later deadlines, if they required it, I would have taken that. Mm. Mm. What exactly is on it? I have no clue. 
So for your program at Duke, what are the specifics? Like, are you in the hospital and classroom at the same time? Or is it some different like system? Like separate? Yeah. Uh, well, what does your typical oh. day look like? Okay, I just finished my first semester. It is pretty light. It's more on the more on the didactic, more on the classroom setting side. Okay. So I go to class three days a week. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's not. That's it. Oh yeah, that's not, that's not that much. Uh, How many mm-hmm. hours are you in the classroom? Let's see, um, Mondays from like eight to twelve, eight to one, and then Fridays is just one class, and then. Thursdays I have lab. Mm-hmm. I'm in the afternoon session, so that's twelve to f- one to five. Mm-hmm. And then Tuesdays are my. They start off as lab days, but towards the middle, towards the end, they were clinical days. It would be like six thirty to three thirty. So it's mixed. Yeah. Okay. But like I know next semester my classes are all in two days. For Wait. The other half so the you are in the hospital this semester or no? Yes. Okay. For our clinicals, we're in the hospital. Yeah. Um, I'm fortunate enough my hospital is right next to my school, so I oh, just okay. walk there. Nice. But I don't know other people are placed like nursing schools like the place you wherever. Okay. It's the same for PA schools. So you don't get a choice? They they you you can fill out your preferences but you're not guaranteed it. And then the next question is what classes are you take well, you just finished your semester, so which ones have you just finished taking? Um and which one was your favorite? Sorry, just your question. What classes I just took, right? Mm-hmm. You already after, told us what we were doing. Week, after, week after the semester, I'm already done. <laughs> the final exam okay. and everything. Which so is I took um, a professional nursing class, which is like a. I really like that class. Mm. It's just how develop us as professional nurses, like what we want to do, what we want to like, what do we are, what we want to focus on, like what do we want to change in the nursing field. Mm. Uh, yeah, it's like developing our professional philosophy. Mm. I really okay. like that class, even though most people are like. Mm, that's just a, a that's, that's like a class that's there yeah. i enjoyed that class mm, that's good. um then we had um wellness i didn't like that class what is it um wellness? it's like promoting health wellness in different amongst age groups uh demographics and stuff i just mm. i just i that class was interesting i'm not a fan of the structure so like what did they teach in terms of like each age group and like each demographic group uh like say for example uh like we need to do learn like a lot of screenings mm. yeah 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 uh like oh this when person... do you do colonoscopy <laughs> <laughs> listen I, I never said i did good in that class <laughs> take a guess okay is that when you're past 50 or 70 Winston, how I don't remember this. Past it's past 70. 70. 50. <laughs> All right? right? I think it's 50s. 40s or 50s, right? So it used From to men? be 50, and then Trust the PA. Now <laughs> Not me. they changed it to 45. Oh, 40. Yeah, and then you do it every 10 years if you are, like, average risk. But if you have history or, like, family history, it's even more often. Yeah, more it often. It is 50. I just had a test question on that. It's 45. And then there was health assessment. That was, like, most of our hours. I really like that class, though. We're just learning, like... That was our foundations class. Mm. Like, we started off with vital signs, which mm, we what PA and med, med student starts off as... Starts off with, probably. Yeah, I think that was, like, the first class we ever took. It was, like, vital how si- to take... And it just took one class on it. And they're yeah. like, okay, we're done. It was, like, how to take blood pressure and uh, all that okay. stuff. And yeah. they're like, okay, one class now. We were practicing that. Did So when they taught you, did they have you listen with your stethoscope? They had... Um, like how so, to manually do it? Yeah, we yeah. had to learn how to manually do it. And they had... This um, most confusing thing. They had dual stethoscopes where the in clinical or lab instructor would listen to us. With, oh, with, no! And that was the most stressful thing in the world. They never had that for me. I should be like, okay, okay. And then the nurse, nurse would like stop like counting and I'd be like, wait, did it stop already? That's really Like funny. the crock sounds. So, so there would be two like sets that they yeah, could hear that from. that are connected to one so bell. So he could hear and then also his instructor. Oh, so it's like, yeah. like so you can't like things. fake okay. it. Right. <laughs> wait, they, they, what, what did you, they do for you? So they never tested us on like how to actually, like if we were accurate, it was just more of like, do you know how to go through the motions? Mm-hmm. What I can tell you is I remember you pump it until you hear nothing uh-huh. or like you feel nothing uh-huh. and then you slowly release and then like when it starts to come back is the systolic number uh-huh. and then when it disappears it's the diastolic. Yes. Yeah. Yes, but then you would, when you when it disappears you would pump like 30 above it. 
like an extra 30. That's when you initially do it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And then that class, we also did medication administration. And we learned how to insert Foley's. Um, mm. And then our last class was did you mm -hmm. did you do it on actual people or like no we had, we did it on mannequins mm. mannequins okay I should, let me just say I think it's um, I, I've been told it's a lot harder to to do it on actual people have you done it on no because that was our last check off I will right. say it's a lot harder to do it on a female really mm. yes okay on a male it's pretty straightforward because there's only one entrance, mm. right? <laughs> yeah, and the next semester since I'm in maternity. Uh, last class, oh, it was, they called it homeostasis Jesus. and principles of pharmacology. Basically, to prepare us for the next two semesters of pharmacology and physiology. Mm. Okay, and then your next one is, given that that was your first semester, how have you been adjusting so far? Because it is a different state. That was the hardest part, adjusting to a different state. Mm. In fact, when I went to undergrad, um, it was like at least an hour drive from home. So I could come back if I wanted to. Or like the city was right there. Where Yeah, it's like an hour away. So I could visit whenever I wanted to. Um, the state is like eight hours away. Well, really? Duke is North Carolina, North Carolina. I didn't know it's it was like, that far. I thought it was closer than that. It's like seven eight pushing nine like non-stop yeah um, is there a bus you can take or like i have never researched that but i need my car because i <laughs> you can't get around with a car in there north cal mm, mm -mm. <laughs> i think adjusting to the state was the hardest part especially since they're like duke is in durham and they're like oh this downtown is so big <laughs> Where is the downtown? Oh, like, it's the different town, from the, town. the downtown is like a village. Oh, it's like a small uh, town line? Yeah, they're like, wow, this downtown is so big and lively. So it's just <laughs> very different from New York. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but adjusting to the schoolwork was fine. It's just, I think the environment affected how I performed in school. Oh, my first semester. Like in yeah. the beginning. Yeah. Do you group study or do you study on your own? I do both. I try to group study because when I study, I'm, if I study in my room, I'm not studying. Mm. Uh, I will be on my bed. I'll be watching a K drama. Uh, <laughs> Which K drama? <laughs> <laughs> I just finished The Heavenly Idol. What is that? That's oh, that's all I made mean you. you I think. Yeah. Oh. Uh, is it good? good? I think I watched it more for the the people in it. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, it was okay. But so, yeah, so I tried to group both. study. Yeah. Because okay. when we group study, I actually get work done. And I figured out halfway into the semester how which study method works best for me which is still pretty late like i like i prefer class i just type out all my notes on a page and then i just have it open and then while they're going type 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 type, type as they're speaking just adding it on so it's you like read bullets. up on things before you go to class i print out all my notes and okay. then when i watch the lecture when i rewatch the lectures i just write on the page mm, okay oh. i feel like i like that more than most people do have an ipad mm -hmm. yeah. i don't i i I can't because I started drawing on it. I feel like I took like study habits from another friend of mine and then also you mentioned your study habits. You remember how I kept asking you how you studied? Uh -huh. I took a little bit from that and I just put it like try to make it myself my like what worked how for me. How do you study? This changed a lot. What, like, how, like how she initially studied oh, really early on. In like didactic year? Uh -huh. I, I knew think... you would write stuff out. Yeah, I think I initially, when I go to class I try to pay as much attention as possible uh -huh. and even if I don't know what the teacher is saying, <laughs> I just like write everything down. And then when I'm studying, I go through all the notes and like try to really understand what uh -huh. they said. And if I really don't understand it, Google. Yeah. And then, and then like I would make just one document that was like all the important stuff that I needed to know. Oh. Uh -huh. That was my study guide. Okay. And then. I would make an Anki. <laughs> and okay, then, okay, I don't do that Is part. that flashcards? Yeah, so it's like a, a what is it called? Like a program for yeah, flashcards. Yeah, flashcards. I would do, I would make them. Like that was like me going through the material again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then me. So you go through it three times. Basically. Yeah, yeah and then okay. actually like answering them. And then by that time, I feel like you pretty much know everything. And like group studying 
It wasn't really group studying. It because, was everyone on their yeah, own. Yeah, you're just like sitting there oh, yeah, all that's together. That's basically how I do yeah. it. Like you just share the space. Oh, that's what you meant by group yeah, study. Yeah. yeah, I don't, I can't do that. And then it's just so. What do you do by group studying? Mm -hmm. Like you test each other and stuff? No, uh, what she does. We're oh, all yeah. in a group. It's just group. convenient when you have a question that they're right there. Everyone's right yeah. there yeah. in the same room. Yeah. Okay, and so I know what you the, mean. I feel like the group just motivates you to study more. Whereas. A little bit. Yeah. This yeah. is dangerous. The bed is dangerous. Yeah. I did say this earlier. If we all had her study habits, we'd be unstoppable. Yeah. If everyone society, had... Society... Yeah. You know that meme where it's like society... Society... And it's like this futuristic if, like, world with like flying hovercrafts and everything. Like, society if we studied like yeah, Britney. Society <laughs> if everyone studied like Britney. That's... I don't yeah. know this meme. So you have to say no. No. <laughs> And then, since you majored in psychology... Do you think majoring in psychology benefited you in nursing school, given that, you know, like most people generally think that, you know, you'd major in biology or like chemistry or something mm -hmm. like that? I feel like it would benefit you if you actually liked psychology. Mm. Like, mm, not saying I didn't like psychology. I just, I wasn't really like in, interested in it as much. Mm. So like the class would just be like, hmm, oh, I need this for the test. Okay, it's out the other year. Uh. Um, whereas like, I know some people, oh, there are like a lot of people in my program who graduated with psych major where they're like oh i'm interested in like mental health and like becoming a psych psychiatric nurse and i'm like mm, not, for mm, not, not for me <laughs> not for me a lot of what i learned in my psych classes come back up come back yeah. up yeah. like during that wellness class we had to redo the pjs pjs um series social cognitive development whatever mm -hmm. and I don't know that is. yeah <laughs> yeah see yeah. i think nursing is very heavily on psychology and you guys have a lot of psychology classes really uh, we're, yeah. we're, i think we're focused on the psychology or like the well-being of the patient yeah yeah i so, feel like well that's how like, i feel like healthcare has gotten more it's like has gravitated more towards mental wellness now yeah. too because mm -hmm. with i don't know if it's because of the pandemic and whatever but i feel like yeah, it's a just, lot of, there's more awareness about mental uh, health and things like mm -hmm. that. P patient comes in with the problem, their chief problem, mm -hmm. um, and then the doctors and the PAs they work on ways to fix that problem mm -hmm. or what they can do, and then nurses address the problems that arise from that problem. It's like oh, they're developing like pain because of that oh, problem. Oh, like their complications. The complications yeah. like, of the pain from um, this. Thing, like how or like, could affect their or how the nurse can relieve the anxiety from mm -hmm. this thing, or like, oh, like their social determinants of health, mm -hmm. like how their family environment could be affecting it, and how we can help for that. It's like, whatever, not the sheaf problem. We mm -hmm. still help with that, but like we're also addressing the other problems environment around that right. come from. Oh, that is a big focus. Oh, that's a big shift. Yeah, that's I not feel what like I expected. It's uh, different because and we follow like, the doctor's orders. <laughs> <laughs> for like a doctor and a PA or an NP, it's like our main goal is to get this person out of the hospital, right? Uh -huh. Like that's our goal. Your goal is to make sure that they're comfortable and like staying on track in yes, the hospital. And, yes, and yeah. also they're able to improve and function on their own outside of the hospital. Right. Which is why we do a lot of patient education. Yeah, and I think social work also plays a social big work, role yes. in that too, yeah. And yeah, social work, case managers, that type of stuff. Yeah. They're all over the hospital. Well, then that's what it is. It's all one big team. Yeah. Mm, well, you have three more semesters left to go. What's something you're most looking forward to? This next semester will be our... It. I've heard from, like, older students from, like, other cohorts that it will be the hardest semester, and especially harder for us because it is our shortest semester, so we don't have mm. break because our second oh. semester is during the summer semester so it's more like a cramming semester because mm. it's shorter yeah but it's also the semester with pediatrics and then i'll finally be able to see if that's what i want to go into mm. or if I, i'm interested in that because um uh, like i've always worked with kids but like you know sometimes you're it's different, it's different. It's different. Medical, yeah yeah i have a question yeah so you learn clinical skills uh-huh have you learned how to put ivs in yet this is a confusing thing. Okay. This is confusing. People are telling me you don't learn how to put in, like for phlebotomy, same thing for phlebotomy, you don't learn how to put those in during nursing school. But then other people are like, yeah, we learned that in nursing school. Yeah, like. So you haven't learned yet? No. Like, I know how to, like, prime the tube, like, set the. I set everything up, flush. Well, actually, no, I'll take that back. Not yet. Not fully yet. I think they're going to focus that more in peace, but, like, the actual. 
inserting of it, I don't think, I don't know, we haven't learned it and I don't know if we will. Because I've heard different things. Hmm. Like, I know phlebotomy we definitely don't do. Like, venipuncture to draw blood? Yeah. You don't do that? What? Yeah, they don't teach it. That, no. that is something you learn on the floor, uh, as I've heard from most uh, nurses. And this is... I was about to ask you for some tips. <laughs> <laughs> this is... No, yeah, no. This is like a... Like, I've asked nurses from where Duke, the hospital I'm going to place at, I've asked nurses in Newton here. Mm-hmm. And they all <laughs> and said I, the same thing? And, like, I have, like, nursing friends in nursing school in California, and they're like, yeah, we, we've never learned how to stick someone. In school? Uh, yeah. Really? Like, I know how to, like, that give an, is... an injection right now, an IM injection. I but, love giving injections. Or, like, a sub, sub-Q injection, but, like, I... Like the venipuncture, phlebotomy, they said they don't do it in nursing school. And then that's s- insane. For IVs, it's like some people are like, oh, we learned in nursing school, and for others, it's like, it's oh no, we didn't do it. Some people are like, yeah. Yeah, but for phlebotomy, it's like across the board, no one has learned it in nursing really? school. Really, that's so strange. It's like either you pick it up at like phlebotomy school or like on the floor. I guess you I don't know how, on the how floor. safe I feel about that. Or I guess you practice. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Yeah, oh, you'll people probably. Oh, 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 no. Your preceptor when you're on the floor will probably teach you because that's all nurses do. Like, I mean, that's not all you do, <laughs> but it's like the majority of yeah, what you yeah. do. Um, but I do know, like, uh, depending on the hospital, they now have designated teams for these things. For like, like they have a designated stuff? phlebotomy team. They have a designated IV team. Yeah. They have oh. a designated burn care team. Mm. They have a designated like. Is that for every team? hospital? Or maybe no, just Duke? I think it's just Duke because. Oh, so maybe that's why he doesn't have to. Do I the... think Duke tries like the, to class. the hospital for Duke. Yeah, okay. Duke is a teaching hospital, well, and it tries to make life easier for people. Mm. So that's why the patient ratios are pretty good, and I'm not expecting those type of patient ratios when I patient. What's ratios, the ratio like? It's like well, since I'm like on a not at like a high acuity floor. Mm. It's urology. Well, it's like a mix of things, but like primarily primarily urology and stuff. Um, so it's like one to like four, sometimes oh. three, but like my where I was a CNA at, the ratio was like one to like six, seven, mm. eight. That's like yours. Yeah, that's a um, good ratio. And then for like even higher acuity floors, it's like one to one or one to two. Like I don't, know, I think I'm in luxury right now. You <laughs> are. Uh huh. And that's why a lot of nurses went on strike recently. Yeah. Yeah, yeah because that was all over the high news. burnout yeah. rates. Yeah, because oh, they were having know. 15 patients. That's crazy. That's like what I. That's like more than what I have. Yeah. I have 12 cases right now. Yeah. That I deal with. It has to do with management. They want to save money. You know, less nurses means. Less money to pay. Of course. But that, yeah. like, comes at a cost. Cause yeah, yeah, exactly. Patients, Eventually, right? right. Yeah. yeah. It's more dangerous. Yeah. I'm also excited for medical Spanish. Yes. You should say no. something to me. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why? I can teach you how to say diabetes. Which is? Say it. Diabetes. Di- <laughs> Diabetes. Diabetes. I can tell you how to say it in Chinese. Tong yu bei. Good job! Good job! But what's it in Mandarin? Tong yu Bing. Bing. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I love that we all like collectively did that Cantonese to Mandarin translation. We, in we our all did Cantonese first. <laughs> what? It will what definitely help you though. Yeah. Like, learning a different language. Especially sure. here, there's a large Spanish speaking population. For community health, I'm assigned to a. Am I? I'm placed in like a Latino. Mm. Uh, Largely Latino. Community. Yeah. For I suffered a lot because when I was in the hospital for that, I didn't know. But, but I, don't, I don't take Spanish until after the community health so i don't that i'll learn it on the spot on the job uh, yeah <laughs> i'm just yeah, excited okay. to graduate you learn something. you like barely job. started <laughs> <it>. <laughs> you're like three, i'm gonna graduate right three now three more rounds like you just finished round I'm one job. i work oh, i miss goodness. working this is the first time i've been unemployed since freshman year welcome to the school. club oh my god yeah that's right i remember when you started working welcome to the early. club of not making mm-hmm. any money but having to spend money but you'll make a lot more later on guys Okay. Yeah. Have fun when you start school. What's like the one piece of advice you would give someone who's I know it's only like semester one who's interested like, in nursing? It could mm-hmm. be like ac- about academics, could be about like just adjusting in general, like Well not one thing, but like don't forget to take care of yourself. Mm-hmm. Self care is best care. It's very important. You need to self care to take care of your patients. Wow, mm-hmm. why do I sound so sentimental? Because it's true. No, it's true. It's true. Yeah. This is something I feel like people take saying that for granted. Because I feel like like people will learn that in school. Like the professors will say that and stuff. But then I kind of like as stu- like as a student, I feel like it's just something yeah. that we're used even, to. Even like you're when... used to the long hours of studying. Mm-hmm. You're used to like just cramming and like doing all that 
Yeah. That you forget ones. to take care of yeah. yourself. Yeah. Because yeah. even in the school environment, work environment, work environment especially self care it's gonna be tough so you don't want to burn out i yeah. thankfully took was able to take care of myself i do have a habit of not eating but Vincent, listen i'm um, literally gonna text you every day like did you eat did you, did listen, you eat i could drive off coffee for hours did you eat lunch that's not good did you eat dinner uh -huh. Um, yeah, we're, we're, gonna start, we're gonna start facetiming you more often <laughs> so that you yeah i feel like as a student it's just easy to spiral into that it is and it like it's easy to forget mm -hmm. everything else because you're so focused on like your studies and stuff you autopilot uh -huh. yeah studying. yeah you just forget like what's happening in the world mm -hmm. it's easier if you're at home because the people around you recognize that and they'll try to help yeah. you but yeah. since you're alone uh -huh. it's yeah. it's like hard for people to like tell you things mm -hmm. yeah another tip if you're living far away please research the place you're moving into i'll leave you with that do research should people worry if they didn't do well in undergrad or should they still try like me personally i didn't have the best gpa mm -hmm. but like i think what benefited me the most were like i did have like not even healthcare experience like a lot of work i think in like, in like when i applied to nursing school even like customer service experience is yeah. very beneficial mm -hmm. i had three years in starbucks under my belt mm. <laughs> so that i think that helped. and then as a result of that um i also was able to get good recommendation letters mm -hmm. and from like you know, one for my anatomy professor one for my psych professor That's good. Would you say you had to be like a very outstanding, like outspoken student for those teachers to like write recommendation letters for you? Not really. Like for my anatomy professor, I don't even I don't even think I've seen them their face. I don't even know what they look like. Uh, it was an online class. Oh, okay. how yeah. say? How far ahead did you like request? A year after I took that anatomy course, I was like, Oh, and they still oh, wrote it. Yeah, it. yeah. Oh, okay. I did, I did pretty well in that class, and they were like, Oh, you know, whatever. Mm. Uh, That's really nice but then for my psych professor, it was just like the semester right after I finished. Mm, okay. um, and then I had like, in addition to like um, my service experience, I also had like the CNA experience. Yeah, I feel like that was I was on my way to getting the CNA license. I, yes. I think you're very experience. unique. But, yeah, but also yeah. prerequisites. I did well in those classes too. Mm. Not like well, well. But like decently. But like, well. yeah. Okay. Yeah, like I didn't fail any of them. Right. But, Honestly, especially in the field of nursing, since the nursing field is dominated by women, by white women, um, they are trying to like diversify the field of nursing. So they're looking uh, for like male candidates uh, and more people of color candidates, which I think that also helped to my favor. I'm the only Chinese male in my cohort. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I'm the only Chinese male in the cohort. I'm the only Chinese person in the cohort. Whoa. Because there is a Taiwanese person, and then there's two Japanese. Oh, okay. Uh, so you're not the only Asian one, but yeah. you're the only Chinese one. Yes. Okay. How many How many people are in your class? 66 around, give wow. or take. That's very small. Yeah, it's a really small cohort. Yeah. Um, and I'd say like wow. less than seven, six of us are Asian. Wow. And I think there's even less Hispanics. Yeah, no, I'm I think sorry. it's very similar to mine. Uh -huh. And then I think yeah. there is also not enough South Asians in it because I feel like mm. yeah. So it's still dom dominated mm -hmm. by like white women, mm -hmm. but they're they're trying. Yeah, because the PA profession is also dominated by Caucasian, very much so female. Really? Like, yes. PAs, yeah. Oh, my, I didn't know that. My cohort probably only has like ten guys. Oh, and but is are is med dominated by white males? Like uh. Because that's what medical I'm, school. Yeah, medical school. I think there's more. It's like is it, is it even? equal. It's okay. pretty equal. But not not for what for more equal race in comparison to gender for gender. Yeah, mm. I don't know about race. I, I know in race, the past white, it was more white Caucasian. males, yeah. but yeah. now I think it's more diversified. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure like maybe 10 to 15 asians in my class it's oh. very little too yeah yeah but like i'm glad they're trying to diversify their yeah pool. you'll see that you're valuable out there on the field because a lot of people like don't know a different language yeah like you don't even need to know how to say things like medically in chinese it's like if you can ask them like what's wrong like, that helps a lot like mm -hmm. that cuts down the amount of time they need to get someone to come and translate uh-huh like you know if you know like basic phrases like oh yeah it hurts yeah mm -hmm. 
ver well versed in like multiple languages always useful and yeah. like i feel like we say it's a basic on your resume and stuff right but like also don't take it for granted like gas it up guess it up, <laughs> guess it up. Okay. I <laughs> it's guess not, it up though. yeah it's it's basic but also gas it up like as much as you can because not everyone has that don't guess ability. it up too much yeah. yeah like don't like don't put that you're fluent in russian but you don't speak <laughs> yeah like, like if russian. you only speak like two like, phrases it's like, like different yeah the different story. Right. i don't even know what that means i don't even know, that means. Means. Don't even know if that's right it's supposed to mean hello oh what what, what? okay maybe i said it wrong <laughs> I feel like that's something important, like knowing how to phrase things on your resume and like whatever, like use active language. I feel like this is stuff that this you get all the time field. from teachers. For any, any field. field. Not even yeah, this, is be, this will be helpful for any field, but like knowing how to phrase certain things a certain way, it helps a lot. Mm -hmm. It'll give you that extra push for what you may need. Yeah. Oh, this is back to the question. I also really like the nursing schedule. <laughs> mm. um, yeah, no, you telling me like, you're from you're in class from like nine to two. I'm like that's it. Oh. Earlier you said like eight, and then you get out at like twelve or one. Yeah. And yeah, I was the like, classes are what? short, but like there's uh, a lot of work to do. Me. But like okay. no, like when I'm actually working, I really like how I have to show up for three days out of my seven day week at week. Right, yeah, because like I was in night. school. It's a twelve to twelve. Five days a week. Uh huh. Sometimes from like seven to like four, and we would get an hour lunch. You that rotation was basically my nine to five. You just have earlier hours, five days a week, right. and you're working eight. I mean, right. seven hours. I'm just like one hour sitting in a chair. That's the exactly whole day. what my yeah. Like I work three days and I have my other four days off. Life is great. I just feel like Grant, right unless now. you know, I can I can deal with it if I'm a night shift. I found editing in this. <laughs> I know it probably won't go off for a while. She's editing though. Mm -hmm. It's it's like texting. therapeutic oh, for me, honestly. No, 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 yeah. Why all right we will see you in the next, next video. video bye well i don't know about me but whenever yeah. be healthy. part two yes hopefully be healthy bye bye, bye.